I've always been kind of anti-authority. If my dad told me to do something, <laughs> I, it didn't make sense to me. I wasn't going to do it. I would yeah. tell him like, yeah, sure. And then when it would come, like when it come to where I had to do that, I wouldn't do it. So I've always had that kind of rebellious aspect to myself. And I like I told you in our interview, my parents would always give me different stories regarding the past. And I would just be able to, all I could do was just entertain the ideas. So I had to be kind of objective. I wouldn't just, I wasn't going to, I wasn't the one that the type to take sides. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would kind of like just sit on the information and wait for more information to possibly come up in, in at a later date. So that helped my truth discovery, but I still fell for a lot of this stuff. You know, I was still a statist. I was so happy that I was in America because we're the best land of the free. <laughs> we're the policemen of the world. But then uh, I was watching, I got into Fox news once Obama was running and cause my dad was watching Fox news. So I just fell into that trap. So I was like, 2008 to about 2013, I was watching that. And then I just got burnt out. It just got or discouraged. I, I was thinking to myself, nothing is changing. It's mm -hmm. been already half a decade now. Nothing's happening. No real improvements have been made in society. We know what some of these problems are because Obama was talking about lobbying and all this, uh, all these people influencing elections and stuff. We're going to get rid of the pork fat, whatever he said. And I, I real I was seeing that nothing was happening. So then I got burnt out. I got out of that stuff. And then I got into the Young Turks uh, like a year or two later. I got, during the the uh, Bernie Sanders uh, when he was running against Hillary for the whatever you call it, <laughs> preliminaries or whatever the hell that term is, uh, the primaries. That's what it was. And so he was getting stolen from every single time. And they were pointing it out at mm -hmm. least. And they were saying that she's a criminal, whatever else. She's screwing over every single state. He ends up losing. He rolls over like a dog. And says, oh, I support Hillary. And and then Young Turks are like, yeah, well, we have to support him or support her now because it's either her or Trump. And I was paying to be a member, even though you can watch him for free. I was paying to, to watch wow. these people. And <laughs> I was thinking to myself, what are you guys talking about? It goes completely against everything you said for the last six months. I'm out. I'm canceling my subscription. You guys suck. So I got completely just both sides. I, I was on one side and I was on the other. I was seeing that it was just ridiculous. And then 2016 was when I watched the Zeitgeist documentaries that got my mind blown into just, you know, we can do things a lot better than we're doing it now. Now, I don't really trust Peter Joseph. Yeah, the way that his mind is working right now with COVID, I don't agree with him at all. And he doesn't talk about a lot of stuff. He talks about some stuff. He doesn't talk about a lot of stuff. So I just took in a, some of his information. I, I, I absorbed some of that, but then I also added more things to that pile. I wasn't just going to stay in that camp because I didn't for, it didn't take that long for me to get out of that camp. But I know, I do know that we have technology that we can use to create an abundance. We, we already have an abundance right now, obviously with just the food that we're throwing out just in America. So we already know that stuff. So that kind of got my, like me branching out, out of politics or out of government in a sense. And then just, I guess it was really James Corbett and then Mark Passio that really kind of got that mindset really going and having it, especially with Mark Passio, having it make a lot more sense because yeah. the natural laws versus the man-made laws, I was, I was already a, a stoner. So I already knew that these stupid laws were ridiculous anyway. And there's already so many stories of uh, black men getting their lives destroyed because of being arrested for this stuff. And uh, so it already didn't make sense to me. And then this stuff just really solidified that aspect. The fact that prohibition can happen and then it's, it's gone and then it's, it's good and then it's bad. But if you look at, okay, here we go. Oh, watch out guys. Censor it. All right. So this, okay. So we have some weed in a jar, right? Is this any different if anywhere else in the world no, it's still what it is right now. I'm oh, sorry. Let it me uh, let me call my hired gang real quick to make sure they go to your house and uh... <laughs> like this this right here. It is what it is, right? Like it. This is what it is right now. So if I bring this to China, is this going to change? No, it's still exactly the same thing. So just think about anything, any action you take, any substance that you have, whatever it may be. It's literally the same anywhere on the planet. It's just our minds and our perceptions of that thing based off of our history, our childhood or whatever people, adults are saying or authority is saying that makes us have a different outlook on it and think that we can just say, you know what, that's bad. You sh can't do that now. Yes, this is a vice. Like this can be a vice. This can be if I use it all the time, it's going to be a vice. It's going to be negative for me. It is, but it's not where it's causing harm to anybody. It's causing harm to me. And granted, if I abuse this enough, 
maybe I will have mental degradation to where I do cause harm to people because I'm not functioning at a high in a high capacity to my highest extent. So yeah, that's a possibility, but that's what personal responsibility is. So it's that's just how I I, I see it because especially taking shrooms that definitely helped me out with intuition spiking up and really just thinking about this stuff um because it's just it is what it is uh natural law it is what it is it's it's just it's been here before it's here now it's going to be here just yeah have at least if someone talks to you about it and you just think about it and you just consciously try to not do those seven wrongdoings murder assault rape theft trespassing coercion lying you will see stuff in your life because when I was doing my shadow work, we'll get into this, but when I was doing my shadow work last year, I was seeing 11-11 a lot. I was seeing the time 12-34 a lot, and those had some – I've I've had – those have some significance. And, and then once I stopped doing that stuff, the shadow work, I didn't see it again, which is random. Yeah, it's a coincidence, whatever you want to say. It's all whatever. But now that I'm starting to do this stuff again, I'm seeing 11-11 a lot, and I'm seeing all these things. And I know I can just feel it in my gut that I'm – on a right path I'm, I'm doing better i feel better about myself so it's it's just for me it's it seems so simple and i know but i know that back in the day when i wasn't exposed to this information i would never have really thought about it but mm -hmm. it really is so simple yeah i mean it's amazing how many people i've talked to who, who've gone from like leftist or right wing or what who knows what every sort of side i've talked to at this point and they all come together here with this one topic that sort of unifies everybody and says like, hey, this is past this entire man-made system with all their laws and all their statutes, which go for miles. I mean, nobody's read this stuff, not even themselves. Um, it's, it's crazy.